Those who receive chocolate on Valentine's Day shall send cookies in return, lest a disaster befall them. I had no idea something like that was written in the ancient book Rinna found. What a surprise. But since we've already eaten them, we need to return the favor. And I'd rather not have a disaster befall me. Okay, let's get started baking these cookies. And let's bake them good. Yeah, everyone here needs to do it. And we have all the ingredients, so let's break that curse already. Hey, aren't we forgetting something? Forgetting something? Oh no, we forgot to buy cookie cutters! Now we can't make hearts or star-shaped ones! It hurts my pride as the blazing chef, but we're out of time. We're just gonna have to make round ones. Come on, let's get started. Um, okay. Is that all we're forgetting? I feel like there was something else. By the way, Yuma, according to the scripture, this ritual has a deeper meaning. Oh? What's that? For this event, you're only supposed to give cookies to one special person. Really? So, uh, Yuma, if you can only choose one girl, who will it be? I... I'm grateful to all of them, so I can't pick just one. Hey, don't dodge the question, Yuma. Sonia, Kirika, Rena, or Marion? Come on, who's it gonna be, hmm? Like I said, I'm giving cookies to them all. You're going to hurt yourself if you don't pay attention to the oven. Tell him, Leston. A warning. You are free to choose whomever you like. However, if you make Kirika cry, I will have to kill you. L Leston? Come on, spit it out already! It'll be over before you know it! Um... Oh, I know! I'll go get some firewood for the oven! What? Get back here, Yuma! Don't you run away! I want an answer! I will make Yuma answer me. Oh, but what if he chooses Kirika? Uh, should I congratulate him? Or kill him? Come on! We're never going to finish baking the cookies like this! An entire hour has passed. We managed to make the cookies, but it took longer than it should have thanks to someone's questions. Oh, don't be like that. I was just having a little fun with you. Hmm. Well done. Kirika and the others should be pleased with this. Now the curse will finally be broken. We just need to pass them out. Yuma, you go deliver them. Leston, can you set up the table? I'll head over after I clean up. Got it. I'll leave this to you, then. Are they gone? All right, then. Time to get started. Cookies? What a wonderful smell. I can't even describe it. Treats from an ancient book. They look so good. These are in return for the chocolate you gave us, and to thank you for everything you do. Go on, eat up. Okay, let's see here. Hold up! Before you eat those, there's something you need to know. What is it? I just want to eat it. Those aren't just ordinary cookies. One of them is a super exciting, heart-pounding, killer spicy cookie! What? When did you have time to do that? And more importantly, why? I thought it would be fun. All right, whichever one you touch is the one you eat. Ugh. Well, Yuma made these treats, so we have to eat them. I accept your challenge. You think you can outprank the prank master? I'll have one as well. Okay, I'll take this one. Mmm, what is this? It's so sweet and delicious. This is so good. Sweet treats are bliss. Mine was sweet and delicious, too. It's warm and soft, just like Yuma. Huh? Then that means no one got it? Huh? Well, I thought one of them was spicy. What happened? All the cookies are gone, so where...
Fromage? Oh, that's right. We forgot about Fromage. He ate the chocolate with us, but we forgot to invite him to help bake the cookies. <laughs> Wait a sec. So does that mean the scripture was right about... The disaster.